Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, I'm the Bowtie RN, and today I wanted to go ahead and do a new shave. Um, I do have about two days growth, so you can see I've got quite a bit there. Um, that's about two days for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the, uh, the Paraso White so it can sit there. Again, I'm using the Paraso White. I do like that as my uh, pre-shave. Don't need a ton of it, but with two days growth, I'd rather sit on there for a little while while I do the rest of my talking. I'm actually going to be using another new razor for me. If I can figure out how to put the link, then I will. But um, Mike over at Spence and Bow, it's a uh, razor collectibles, razors, brushes, and stuff like that. Some shave bowls. I've been, get, been able to get quite a few razors from him. So um, I think that's good for my pre-shave. I can get that rubbed in there. And let that sit while we do the rest of this. So I rinse off my hand real quick. And as typical for me, I'm doing a cold water shave, so everything's cold today. Cold water, cold lather, cold everything. Um, cold steel, of course, going across the face. And speaking of steel going across the face, I'm actually going to be using a Gillette black tip. I don't see a lot of these on YouTube. I don't even know if I've ever found, if I've seen one, but I'm sure there's a couple out there. So it's a Gillette black tip. It is, it does have, of course, have the plastic bottom handle. It is a twist to open. This one is the, I believe it was the X3. Can't quite see it. Yeah, it's the X3. So this one does have the, the steel handle as opposed to the, like the W3 had the aluminum handle. I believe it was the W3, not 100% sure. Anyways, um, go ahead and be loading that up. I'm using the uh, RK steel, um, stainless steel. This is my first time use on this one. It's been a little while since I used the RK blades. They came with my, uh, my Henson when I got it. But like I said, the RK, load it up. Close those sides down, and then we'll just kind of set that razor to the side while we talk about everything else. I'm actually using the very end of my Razor Emporium old school soap sample. Um, these soap samples are actually pretty good. I was able to get about four shaves out of each of them. I'm not sure what's in their base, but it, it's worked out well for me. I had a little bit of skin irritation with one of them, but it wasn't the base. It was just the colognes or the perfumes and scent oils that were in it. And I just went ahead and put that one to the side. Not a big deal. That I mean, that, that's going to happen now and then. I went ahead and already pre-lathered using my Simpsons Trafalgar T2. Uh, nice middle-of-the-road size brush. The T3, of course, is a little bit bigger than the T1, of course, is a little bit smaller. All three being the synthetic version. This is the uh, Sovereign Synthetic, and it works really well for me. All right, I've got that pre-shave on there. It's kind of gotten a little bit dry maybe so i'll go ahead and splash a little bit more water up there and then take the lather right to the face i think i probably could have gotten five shaves out of these but the uh, little jar on them is so tiny it made it a little bit hard for me to get it out and i didn't want to run into a situation where i didn't have enough I'd rather use a little bit too much soap than not enough. All right, got that nice and worked into the beard. And I can just hear how coarse that beard is. At least I can, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I can hear it fighting against the bristles. Even with the soft synthetic bristles, it's still going to fight them. Not a big deal, though. All right. Get that razor nice and wet. Uh, nice and early on. This one's got a really nice weight. Um, not real long. Again, put my fingers on it, no problem. But um, the top end, so the, the razor head, actually is where most of the weight lies. So it's kind of nice. Um, balance point, actually, it's right about there. But it allows the head to be a little bit heavier. So it makes it easier for me just to go ahead and take it to the face and let the razor do all the work. So about a 30 degree angle, 
light touch. I do like to see my sideburns before I switch over to the phone. So it's not bad, um, fairly mild. I do have a little bit of blade feel, but that could very easily be the RK blades. RK blades I tend to have a little bit more blade feel with. Not bad, they're still nice and smooth. They do a good job. Which is good since I have a pack of 100 of them. All right, go ahead and clean up some of that mess. So with the grain, um, I've not used a black tip before. Very comfortable. Two days growth for me tends to be a bit of a challenge to razors. I can't do a super mild one unless I want to do three passes and a cleanup. That feels good so far. The soap, like I said, the soap, very slick, very nice and cushiony. No problems there at all. So old school, it's a um, moderate scent strength, not real strong, but it's exactly what you'd think it would be. It's like an old school barbershop scent. Kind of clean, no real cologne to it, but it smells nice. All right, I'll actually probably be finishing today off with the uh, with the, one of the Club Minpanades. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna grab yet, we'll see. All right, can I get that face a little bit damp? See how I did? Not bad. Um, borderline socially acceptable. I could probably make it out. But going to work, if I were going to work today, I'd want a little bit closer of a shave. I do like it to be pretty close, as close as I can get it. Not always BBS, but at least a really good shave. Face is still a little bit damp. Take the lather back to the neck and the face again. Don't need to do this one near as thick, but there's so much soap in this brush, it's not a problem at all. Yeah, I've heard that the T3 is a bit of a lather hog as far as the brush goes. It likes to eat up some of the lather, but I've never had that problem with the T2. It gives it up pretty easily. And if I need to, if it's getting a little bit dry, then I just go ahead and take dip the dip the tips in, just the tip in, to a little bowl of water. You get to get you nice and wet. And I'll thin it out just a little bit. So I'm actually using a little steel bowl that I have, and it, it fits in really easily. Dip it in, get the tip just a little bit wet, and then take it back out to my face. All right, second pass across the grain. Now, if I had to compare this one, I actually would put it more like a red tip. I have used a red tip once. Definitely not in the blue tip range. I'm not a razor historian, so I really don't know where it falls in blade gap wise. But if I had to just go by feel, it's definitely more aggressive than would be a blue tip. And 
like to cheat on this spot right here. It tends to be where I cut myself. There's something over in here where I always cut myself. So I'll do a modified across the grain. You can know, hear there's still quite a bit of feedback, which I like. I like the feedback. Let's me know how I'm doing. So if I go back over it, that feedback should change. If it doesn't, then I know it's kind of not quite getting what I need to. All right. Real quick, rinse, kind of getting full. I do like the the head profile on these. Makes it easy to get up under the nose. Some of the razors I have, the top is a little bit too big. So I have a hard time getting under there. So sometimes I'll use, I'll break out my, my leaf twig and do that last little bit of cleanup under the nose. All right, get that rinsed. A little bit of water. Feels good, definitely socially acceptable. I have the time and I have the soap. I'll go ahead and do a third pass across the, oh, sorry, against the grain. So in case you're curious how much soap I have left, of course you can see the plenty on the brush, but the bowl itself, tons of lather back in there. So I could do, I could shave myself, my son, my wife's legs. Not a problem. So like I said, you can get more than four shaves out of one of those samples. But I didn't want to push it. All right, that's plenty of lather. Way more than I actually need for a third pass, but I have it. It smells good, it feels nice. Why not? All right, get that razor wet real quick. Looks like I have a little bit of a bleeder right there. Didn't even feel that happen. going a little bit too fast and talking. Definitely not the razor's fault. Generally, if I cut myself, it's all me. Another quick rinse.
everything looks good. Damn, for my fingers a little bit, let's go ahead and check. Not feeling anything. Everything feels good. All right, quick rinse. Try to take my glasses off so I don't get too much stuff on them. Quick rinse, cold water. Not as quick as it is sometimes because that Razor Emporium soap is pretty slick. All right, find my Allen block. The damp rooms. Yeah, we did. I know I got the cut there, but I don't feel any sting or anything. Just a little weeper. No stings. Smooth as glass. Really nice shave. Definitely thanks go to Mike over there at Spence and Bow. It's a nice razor. Did a really good job for me. Definitely something I'll be keeping in my normal rotation. Really nice. Um, yeah. that, go ahead and wash that real quick. I'll get that after, after we finish and get that off camera. No problem. All right. I like to go ahead and let that sit for, you know, 20, 30 seconds. Um, while we're doing that, um, again, nice razor. Twist open. No problem. Got the RK blade, go ahead and rinse that bad boy off. And I like to go ahead and I put a, uh, a Sharpie mark on the top of my blades. Or with this one, it does have the numbers. So I'll go ahead and color out number one, just to show that I've used it one time. I don't do the dice trick and it just, this works for me. So I'll color out the number one, that way I'll know next time it's the second use. Put that up on a magnet, I got a magnet sitting on the mirror, and then we'll go ahead and make sure that's nice and dry. I think I got pretty good time for the alum. All right, got that rinsed off. Nice clean towel, pat dry. Not, compl not completely clean, because I did use it in the shower, but not a big deal. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite, um, Harry's Post Shave Mist. Available easy, I mean, get that, get there right at Target. Um, I also, sometimes I'll use the Nivea. If I had a, if I used an especially aggressive razor, or if I used one of my um, adjustables and I turned it up. All right, got that all rubbed in. Looks good. And I think we're going to use today the uh, the Clubman Vanilla. Very classic. Um, the Clubman products, I've not had a single problem with any of them. I use a Clubman Styptic Pencil. I also have a couple of the, uh, the Clubman scents as far as the, uh, the aftershaves. My favorite one is the Whiskey Woods. That feels good, not a, not a single sting. All right, just cap it off. Um, just so you know, I did use the Gillette black tip with an old school Razor Emporium sample, and I used the RK blade using my Simpsons Trafalgar T2 brush. Everything's been great. If you like my videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. I do appreciate every single subscriber out there. Other than that, I'll see you next week, if not sooner. Until then, great shaves.